the idea that we're selling numbers, Q, is not really the way that ratings have been communicated in Australia. It's more mm. a, a share strategy. So you kind of buck the trend in communicating this. How's that worked? Um, again, coming from a television background, um, everyone talked about in television, my share is X. And everyone say, you know, and they go to their investors and say, I've, I've raised two more share points. That's irrelevant if the market's going backwards and television is going backwards. We know. So having a share of a declining market, or a slightly bigger share, is irrelevant. You want to ask yourselves, what is the absolute number? So yes, our peers haven't necessarily liked our strategy. We do own 50% of the future in perpetuity in DAB. We know it'll get bigger. Um, and my greatest challenge is not actually our advertisers and agencies. It's actually telling 800 people who work for us to actually put the rates up by the same amount of new inventory. And I, you know, you, you sort of threaten them with their bonuses, which normally gets their attention. Which is, you'll never get your bonus, you'll never get your revenue, if in fact you don't charge the same premium. So we're trying to grow the market. Our peers don't see it that way because they've always done it that way. And yes, it's different. Um, we don't apologise for being different. You did something else controversial. You killed a lot of local brands, radio stations that had call signs based on their town or their region. Mm. Um, to execute the strategy of, of the brands that you've explained to us. Was that painful? Not at all. It was painful on the internal level, not on the external level. Um, again, joining the company, I, I had to get someone to do a map and to put all the brands on it, which couldn't really fit. Um, and you know, you'd have a 60-year-old brand that was in, uh, on, the, on the East Coast and had a pelican or a this or a that. They all had a different name. There was always a different colour. It wasn't an organised set of brands. Um, fundamentally, what we had was two networks and then 68 other brands. I couldn't remember them. So if I couldn't remember them, how am I ever going to talk to them about it to our shareholders, stakeholders, advertisers, agencies? So we ended up with the biggest rebrand in Australian radio history. And we rebranded 84 stations overnight into two streams, which was the hit and triple M. And we kept localism. The only thing we changed was the colour and the station brand. And yes, there were people there who had been broadcasters with us for a very long time who were quite upset. And then we surveyed it. By the way, we didn't have too many surveys, so we put more surveys in to make sure we covered the entire market. The funny thing happened was ratings lifted. The thing that we knew would happen is that those 1,400 national advertisers who could never remember your 84 brands said, ah, I get it. I'm buying the Triple M network. Oh, there's 41 of those. Yep, done. And they, it's a safe, trusted environment, and they effectively buy that national impact. So we've seen now the national um, investment into regional radio go up 22% in two years. And we think it'll go up 22% in the next two years because you know, agencies will principally work in the environment they're most comfortable, the metro cities. They can't see the, the, the place outside of metro is the place they go on holidays. They don't realise that there's an economic mass out there, so they've always been underweight. So our revenues have gone up 22% because we've provided scale, a network with 41 stations, not just five metros, but 41 stations across Australia. Um, and secondly, simplicity. And we also creatively, if we have an idea, the idea now stretches across the geography of all of Australia, not just the capital cities. So when you're bringing something to life, you know, the announcer can take a call from anyone in any part of Australia. Couldn't happen before, because they'd ring up from 4GG, which had a pelican, on the, uh, on, the, on the logo, and you'd go, are you one of our stations, or where are you from? Now they go, I'm part of Triple M. 